Hey, good morning there. Hope you're well. Hey, listen, uh, if you check out my channel or some of my other videos on uh, YouTube, <coughs> you would see um, that uh, I've talked a number of times about having been living on milk, skim milk and cream for the last five years. Cow's skin, cow's milk and cow's cream and it's about 95% skim milk and 5% cream. Day, every day I drink probably between one and two gallons of skim milk. A little cream here and there. It's been very good for my health. For example, yesterday I weighed 165 and I'm 6'1", so you know that's a good healthy weight. But <coughs> one interesting thing <coughs> is I've, part of how I'm motivating myself to stay on this diet is I noticed when I eat solid food, I mean occasionally of course I'm going to stray off this diet. When I eat the solid food I notice that my urine immediately starts to smell worse. And when I return to milk it smells better. And I was kind of thinking that that's probably a sign that in general I would smell better, have a better body odor if I lived on milk. I mean that the urine would see, sort of be an indicator. If the urine smells bad on solid food and better on milk, I would think just it reflects what's in your body and reflects how your body's going to smell. So I'm thinking maybe if you want to smell good, uh, you know, to uh, try my diet. But. Um, it's kind of funny, you know. Uh, after I, when I've been since I've been on this diet, my sense of smell has gotten better, more acute. And I think it's because milk is a fluid food, and it doesn't clog you up as much as solid food. And when I'm near other people, I mean, you know, good ordinary people who follow a cleaning regimen. Uh, they smell bad to me. I can smell their body odor, which I believe comes from their diet. You know, it's just a typical American diet, solid, mixed food. But I'm picking up, well, it's like oil. Maybe the food has a lot of oil, a certain amount of oil in it, or I don't know what it is, but I think the solid food doesn't digest as fast, so it's down there in the stomach and when it's going around the body. I don't really know why milk t smells better than other food, but uh, I'm guessing that I don't smell as much to, uh, bad as to other people as they sometimes smell to me. Like, oh, like there's a librarian who helps me at the Central Library here in Glendale, and when I go up to the desk for him to help me, you know, I can pick up that body odor. And it's not like he's a bum or anything. He's like just a regular good guy with a good job and good grooming and nice clothes. But it's just the solid food. It's just inside your body, that solid food diet that you're eating, I'm thinking it doesn't smell as good. Now, I can't smell myself Maybe I smell just as bad, I don't know. But I'm thinking I probably don't because I see the difference in how the urine smells. Um, or like I went to an event with my uh, brother and man, you know, there was food at the end of the event and uh, he was chowing down and whoa! <laughs> there was, I mean, it was just, it was good food like egg rolls and mini hamburgers. <laughs> But whoa, the smell coming off his breath, uh, you know, is was pretty strong and bad. And like my brother, you know, he's a good guy. I mean, he's really t together. He's a computer programmer. He has a wife and children. And he, I'm sure he's clean, as clean as anyone else. But it's, but it's just that that food that solid food, you know, I guess I think it makes you just smell worse than an all milk diet. And then you might not know, but if you eat a solid food diet, you might not notice it in other people because you're not, 
because your nose isn't working as well as mine. I guess I'm in a way I'm pretty lucky. I mean, living on milk, it's not all good luck. I mean, I had to start doing it because I have health problems. But uh, in a way, well, how can I put it? Well, anyway, in a way, I'm more aware probably because I think people on a solid food diet, they might smell bad, but they don't smell each other because their noses are also more clogged with the solid food. But, uh, well, I mean, maybe it's okay if everyone's nose is clogged. <laughs> no one knows that they all smell. But here I am, the odd man out, telling you you might smell bad. <laughs> anyway, uh, I mean, it's not like a terrible smell. If I, I mean, if my lover was eating saw food, I'm sure she'd smell bad, but maybe I'd have a sort of affection for her bad smell because she's my lover, her bad oily s smell or sharp smell. But uh, I don't know. I mean, I'm not really, I, I, I kind of hesitated to make this video because I thought people might think I'm like really critical of them. And really, I'm not. Um, I'm pretty accepting of what people want to eat, you know. I'm advocating my diet. It's I think it's really great. And even my weight figures, you know, they're really excellent. Almost no one who's watching this or who's out there probably has achieved that, you know. 6'1", 165. It's really hard to do. I think it'd be really hard on a solid food diet. But uh, anyway, I just thought I'd share this with you. It might give you, it might motivate you to try my diet or it might just amuse you or give you something to reflect on. I hope it doesn't piss you off. I mean, maybe it'll do that too. I don't know. But uh, if you if you like, you can certainly give me any opinion. Um, but yeah, it's pretty neat. Really, it's pretty neat to have a better sense of smell because you feel... Well, I can't say I feel like a superhero, but isn't that what superheroes were? Their senses were better than other people's. But it feels like you're maximizing what your body can do. I mean, you're smelling better and I probably I see probably my other senses are better but the sense of smell really stands out